I saw a file once, codenamed Gorgon. Good day to you sirs, it's Grizzle Marine, and I'm here to bring you a little bit about the Gorgon and her abilities and such. Now, I actually was going to wait till release to do any more on her, but considering the fact there was some gameplay on the live streams, I decided I'd take it down and uh, put a video up for you guys, so that those of you that haven't seen it before um, can get a little bit more information about her. First of all, her traversal is insane, and you can get some serious distance with this monster. Probably one of the uh, best monsters for traversal I've probably seen yet. I would say you have a little bit of a disadvantage when using this traversal because it takes a couple of seconds for Gorgon to actually traverse herself forward, which is a good opportunity for characters such as Griffin to harpoon you and such. Probably one of the most epic things about her is actually being able to grasp onto really high walls and stay there in your web. Now it is really hard to tell whether a character can be overpowered until it's actually released to the general public, but I have a bit of a fear for this because you don't actually get shot off when you are shot at. So it could be a really easy way for people to exploit, avoid taking damage. Also, one thing I was also worried about is the fact that you are very well hidden, I suppose, if you're quite high up. So I don't know. I think the web might make it a little bit obvious, which is good. So the hunters can locate you a little bit easier. But still, we could see some insane dukes with this little feature that's been added. And as I said, I think you could see some incoming nerfs or buffs to the character. You just have to wait because Turtle Rock will need to see what exploits some people bring with this monster. And it'll be really interesting to see. But to make it even more epic, you can actually sneak pounce hunters from this position. And I believe the higher you are, the more damage you do when you actually sneak pounce them. You can also use a couple of your abilities at the top, which I'll talk about in a second. And can obviously deal quite a lot of damage from a ranged position. So just quickly going through Gorgon's abilities. First of all, we have Web Snare. Now this allows you to target multiple hunters. It actually poisons and slows hunters, which is really good for getting away or just doing damage in general. Next is Spy. The trap, which is actually your own little minion, which you can place down during combat or while running away. Basically, this little minion will catch hunters and do damage to them while running in random directions, which can be really disorientating for the hunters. And, and your hunter team will have to watch out for them because I believe the only way you can actually get out of it is if one of your hunter teammates shoots him off. Acid spit, it's a bit like Goliath's fire breath, poisons the hunters, also making the ground very deadly and is going to isolate the hunters into certain areas very well. Then finally, we have Mim which basically allows you to make a copy of yourself go towards the hunters and explode and doing a lot of impact damage. Although this does a lot of damage, it's actually good for the hunters because you can actually destroy the Mimic before it does damage to you. And also it does leave a normal bodied Gorgon so that you can actually attack the real one while it's in control of the Mimic so you can do extra damage. Yes. Gorgon does have an epic gold turtle rock skin, and hopefully we'll be getting that through a challenge sometime in the near future. But there's so many different possibilities with the abilities you can use for Gorgon. For instance, you can set off birds uh, with the Mimic, and the Mimic, you can actually go a huge distance. So some people were saying it would be great for scouting out where hunters are and such. So in general, it's going to be a very powerful monster. Whether she's going to be overpowered or underpowered on release, it's very, very hard to tell, to be honest, until, again, it gets released to the general public. But I think you'll find it will just be down to finding the right hunters to actually be effective against Gorgon. For instance, I was thinking Hyde would actually be great, so that if Gorgon does cling to a wall, you can keep her from doing that by throwing gas grenades at her, or Markov making the ground very deadly for the monster using his mines. But speaking of Markov, I'm sure a lot of you have heard already that different variations of hunters, a lot like different variations, of monsters are going to be coming to the game, beginning with 
Blitz Markov and Rogue Val. And we actually got first look at these on the streams as well, which was really, really interesting. Just so you guys know, these aren't going to be released with the new update, but they will be released hopefully shortly after in the same month. I don't want to spend too long on these two, but just to give you a quick idea of what they do, basically Blitz Markov with his lightning gun. His lightning will go through various colours when you hold it onto a, a target, and it will eventually get to white, which will be doing a insane amount of damage. So basically, the longer you hold it on a target, the more damage you will do. As for Markov's assault rifle, you do shoot a lot faster, which means you might want to burst fire it a little bit to make sure you're on target. But lastly, his mines are pretty crazy. The longer you leave the mines down for without them being exploded, you can see that they will go again, like the lightning gun, through various colours. And again, when it eventually gets to white, it does a huge amount of damage which is pretty insane and I'm actually excited to see how these play out in game because again it's very hard to tell whether these are going to be more overpowered or whether it's going to make it so that Markov is going to get completely unused and Blitz Markov is going to kind of reign over him but either way it will be pretty interesting. As for Rogue Val her Trank Darts do poison damage and then perhaps even more insanely her med gun allows you to heal multiple targets. This may seem a tad OP, but I'm sure the Turtle Rock will take into account with these variations that they will need to be balanced. The way they've compensated for it is it won't heal as effectively as the Vanilla Val. However, it basically allows you to heal the main target for 100%, and then when it links off to the other two targets, it will basically do 50% to them, which is pretty damn crazy. As for her sniper rifle, it's actually now for damage purposes, with a three-round burst before reloading, but this actually doesn't leave weak spots, that is just purposely for damaging the monster. Lastly, as for Val's heal burst, it's a little bit complicated, but basically, her heal burst only heals herself, and it does a whopping 75% percent of her own health. Of course, the downside is she can't actually heal burst hunters around her. However, hunters that are close to her automatically get a slow regeneration, which again, I would sit back and say, holy fucking shit, that is OP. But at the end of the day, hopefully Turtle Rock have it under control. One thing I would say is just don't go crying on the first week about things being underpowered, overpowered, or certain bugs. It's going to be a big update. There is going to be bugs. There is going to be unbalancing issues. So you need to let Turtle Rock, you know, sit back, make sure they get this under control because there will be, you know, certain things. So just make sure you give it a chance and don't go crying straight away. So in terms of what I think about these new hunters and monster variations, I'm all for them because one, it's free content for the community, which is really badass. And secondly, it means that they can bring content a lot more often because it's a lot easier to make than a whole new tier. Two things I would say to Turtle Rock is make sure that all these new monster and hunter variations are very clear for new players because I have a feeling that these could confuse people that are new to the game. And then secondly, to make sure that they're very well balanced and not make it so that the vanilla versions of themselves are going to be completely useless because by the looks of Rogue Val, I wouldn't even want to go back to the vanilla Val. But then again, a lot of people were screaming about Meteor Goliath going to be replacing vanilla Goliath completely, where that is completely false because... A lot of you know that people always play Vanilla Goliath, even though Meteor Goliath is available. So, personally, I hope that Turtle Rock will uh, probably have taken that into account already, and so they'll make sure that that happens. But what is quite exciting is now we have actually started to have variations for Hunters and Monsters, we will eventually have a different variation for all monsters and all hunters, which is a hell of a lot of content. have no idea whether it's all going to be free, but I actually think it will be, uh, since that's what they've done with the current variations. So that's pretty sick, and I'm sure a lot of you are excited to hear that we get a lot of free content. So you lot will have to let me know which particular variations you're excited for. Personally, I think Lennox, Lazarus, and Kraken are going to be very interesting, and pretty excited to see how they turn out. So all this new content coming, and there's even and more. So I thought I'd wrap this video up with a little bit of so showing off what the new update is going to involve. I'm not going to show everything because there's actually quite a bit and I don't uh, really want to go through every single little detail. If you haven't noticed already, all hunters with deployables now only have three deployables. I remember back in my day, Maggie had five harpoons, Bucket had five sentries, Markov had five mines, but, but now, but now they only have three. Ah!
But oh well, shit happens. Basically, it's just going to mean that you are going to have to be mega clever on where you place each of your harpoons, each of your mines, and each of your sentries, or any other hunters that has that in the future, basically. I did personally prefer five, but having said that, the three that you get of each deployable are a lot more powerful. So as you can clearly see here, Maggie's harpoons uh, do have a lot more range on them. I believe bucket sentry guns do have a little bit more range and damage, and then Markov's mines will have some more damage as well. It does have a plus side because it does take a lot less time to put down the deployables now and means that you have a lot more time to actually damage the monster yourself instead of placing down a shitload of mines that are just getting destroyed by the monster constantly. So the last little couple of updates I wanted to mention, you'll notice that the monster has a new marker and that basically is the new ping. So, so the non-hostile wildlife, elite wildlife and hostile wildlife will all have different pings including the monster so you can make things a lot more recognisable to your team. The other little small thing that has been added is the ability to actually change some of your deployables into different colours. Now this is actually meant for colourblind people so I have no idea if any of you are colourblind but this should help you out. But either way I just thought it was fucking cool because you could have your shit blue if you wanted to. I mean I d I'm not colourblind but it's blue. I want it blue. So of course there will be many little nerfs and buffs to certain characters. I'm not going to go through them all. In fact, I don't even know them all, so I'm not the person to give them to you. You might have found I got some of the information in this video wrong. If I did, I do apologise, but I've done my best to try and make sure I get the correct information to you guys. But otherwise than that, I hope that gave you a bit of insight on what's to come for Evolve. I hope you're excited for it. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you're excited for. Uh, but otherwise, it's been your good boy Grizzle Mashizzle, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.